The Department for Work and Pensions is the largest government department in the United Kingdom, and is responsible for welfare and pension policy. The department has four operational organizations, Job Center Plus administers working age benefits such as Job Seekers Allowance. It also decides which claimants receive employment and support allowance after a work capability assessment carried out by its outsourcing partner Maximus. The pension service which pays the basic state pension and pension credit and provides information on related issues. Disability and Carers Service which provides financial support to disabled people and their carers. The Child Maintenance Group which provides the statutory child support schemes, operating as the Child Support Agency and the Child Maintenance Service. History The department was created on June 8, 2001 as a merger of the Department of Social Security, Employment Service and the policy groups of the Department for Education and Employment involved in employment policy and international issues. The department was initially tasked with creating Job Center Plus and the Pensions Service from the remains of the Employment Service and the Benefits Agency. The department is therefore responsible for welfare and pension policy. It aims to help its customers become financially independent and to help reduce child poverty. Ministers the department's ministers are, the permanent secretary is Robert Deveray. The Pension Service With the creation of the department in June 2001, the pension service was created, bringing together many different departments and divisions. The pension service is a dedicated service for current and future pensioners. The pension service consists of local pension centers and centrally based centers, Many of latter are based at the Tenevue Park complex in Newcastle upon Tyne. At Tenevue Park, the following centres are found Future Pension Centre provides state pension forecasts for people approaching retirement age. National Pension Centre deals with change of circumstances and inquiries regarding pension payments into bank accounts. Pension Tracing Service helps track old pensions and pension schemes. International Pension Center deals with all inquiries regarding the payment of state pension, bereavement benefits, incapacity benefits and other such benefits for those living abroad. Local Pension Centers deal with localized claims for state pension and retirement related benefits. Pension Centers are found all over the country, and for the residents of London a central London Pension Center is housed at Tenevue Park such benefits dealt with at local pension centers include pension credit, winter fuel payments, cold weather payments. Disability and Carers Service The Disability and Carers Service offers financial support for those who are disabled and their carers, whether in or out of employment. The DCS have offices throughout the country and deal with the following benefits, disability living allowance, attendance allowance, Carrera Euro unregistered trademark S allowance, vaccine damage payment, Personal Independence Payment Former Structure Prior to 2008, the Pension Service and the Disability and Carers Service were two separate executive agencies however the decision was made in April 2008 to merge both agencies into one entity named the Pension, Disability and Carers Service. Both former agencies kept their corporate branding and provided services under their separate identities. The decision was made due to the two agencies sharing roughly 50% of the same customers and as a single agency, the rationalization of services would provide a better service for customers. The status of PDCS as an executive agency was removed on October 1, 2011 with the functions being brought back inside the department and both the pension service and the disability and carers service becoming distinct entities once again. Prior to July 2012 the Child Support Agency was the operating arm of the Child Maintenance and Enforcement Commission. All are now operated wholly from within the department, with the names continuing as brand identifiers. Public Bodies and Estate The department's public bodies include, the Health and Safety Executive, the Pensions Ombudsman, the Pensions Regulator, the department has corporate buildings in London, Leeds, Blackpool, Newcastle-upon-Tyne, Warrington and Sheffield. Job Centre Plus, the Pension Service and the Disability and Carers Service operate through a network of around 1,000 job centres, contact centres and benefit processing centres across the UK. 
after the departure of John Suffolk as government chief information officer in November 2010, the current CIO of the Department for Work and Pensions, Joe Harley, was picked to replace him. Budget The total annual budget of the department in 2011 December is a £151.6 billion, representing approximately 28% of total UK government spending. The department spends a far greater share of national wealth than any other department in Britain, by a wide margin. A report of February 2012 stated that a sum amounting to billions of pounds of money payable through possible benefit claims had not been claimed. In 2009-2010 the department stated a £1.95 billion job seekers allowance, a £2 billion income support and employment and support allowance, a £2.4 billion in council tax, a £2.8 billion in pension credit and a £3.1 billion for housing benefit. In total a £12.25 billion had not been claimed. Research The department is a major commissioner of external social science research, with the objective of providing the evidence base needed to inform departmental strategy, policy making and delivery. The department has developed and uses various micro-simulation and other models, including the policy simulation model, Pensim2 and Inform. Data sets held include the LLMDB and the Family Resources Survey. During 2012 the department announced records of the number of people born outside of the United Kingdom claiming work-related benefits from 2011, using data already collated within the department together with those of HM Revenue and Customs and the UK Border Agency. Devolution and parity, employment, health and safety, and social security policy are reserved matters in Scotland. Northern Ireland has parity with Great Britain in three areas, social security, child support, pensions, policy in these areas is technically devolved but, in practice, follows policy set by Parliament to provide consistency across the United Kingdom. Employment and health and safety policy are fully devolved. The department's main counterparts in Northern Ireland are, the Department for Social Development, the Department for Employment and Learning, the Department of Enterprise, Trade and Investment. Controversy in August 2015 the department admitted using fictional stories from made-up claimants on leaflets advertising the positive impact of benefit sanctions, following a Freedom of Information request from Welfare Weekly. Later that month figures were released which showed that between December 2011 and February 2014, 2,650 people died shortly after their work capability assessment told them that they should be finding work. The DWP had fought hard for the figures not to be released, with Chief Minister Ian Duncan Smith at one point telling Parliament that they did not exist. See also, Benefit Fraud, Pensions Commission, Office of Manpower Economics, Pension, Disability and Carers Service, United Kingdom Budget, Welfare Rights. References External links, Official Website, DWP YouTube Channel.